What's the difference? Remember back. <clears throat> What's the difference? We're about to get another reaction thing. We're hopping into Oni Murders in the Building, episode number six, season number one, called To Protect and Serve, which makes me feel it's going to have to do with a police officer. Uh, so hopefully you've been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, subscribe. Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut episode if you want. If you don't, that's totally cool. Episodes will be here on YouTube whenever they show up. So previous episode, what do we have? Previous episode, we had, um, what was his name, Oscar. We He got out. He was hanging out with Mabel. Uh, Charles and Oliver followed her. Uh, we did a whole thing with some guys in a car, which is kind of funny. Then we ended up at this tattoo parlor. We find out that Tim was actually trying to take down some jewelry ring, some jewelry people, like try to take them out. And what happened there is that he told the tattoo guy that he thought he was about to be murdered. We still don't know why. Like, why else was Tim there? Do we know? You know. Um, I also talked about that night that he was going to go talk to, to Tim. And he heard a gunshot. And then he ran away. So, that's where we're at. We're going to hop in here. Have a good time. Here we go. We said we'd do it in nursery together. I waited as long as I could. She's listening to only murders in the building. Born child to this true crime bullshit. Please. This one is cute. I don't get a kiss, hello? Oh, my bad, my fingers. But the shit stops when Kareem comes. Who the fuck is Kareem? <laughs> Not my son. Kareem Abdul Jabbar <laughs> so? is an athlete. A scholar, an activist, <laughs> and Kareem Hardison is Dwayne Wayne. What? What? What, what the fuck are they saying? You know what? Let's just turn it off. <laughs> well, that was a suicide, open and shut. Okay, but, um, <clears throat> sorry. What about the paw prints? <gasps> because the cat that came in after uh, me, they She's it. obsessed. <laughs> so, what? You have to hit me with the work shit. Not today. I mean, she... They didn't know you with the work shit. She was listening to a podcast, and then you got, you know, upset about it because it's about, turns out it's about you. She didn't know that. For what felt like a beat too long. I found them in Tim's apartment. Sucks Tim died before he got the one he really wanted. And which one was that? Uh, I got a pick somewhere. Is it a pick? i to track it down for years. I could dig it up. Yes, please. The one from and the text girl? it to me as soon as you find it. Me too. Is it from the girl? Me too. Um, Just me. You know, I hooked him up with my jewelry connection, Cutter, to talk about that piece you wanted. Oh, my God. The... Oh. I can say that because I'm three quarters Irish and I have a teeny bit of a drinking problem. Wait, Tim was supposed to meet Cutter here today. Oh. There's... Oh. I'm going to guess you're not Cutter. You come to Bayport? I have to... Something not. We are investigating and your daughter has been a big help in this. What do you mean investigating? I mean, we and your Don't daughter tell her. are producing a podcast <laughs> about Tim Kono's murder. I only let you go back there because you promised me you were focusing on your design career. Stop saying that you let me. But you. How old it's, are you two? It's, it's going to blow up. I'll have you know that I am in my very early mid-60s. Dragging my little girl <laughs> back into the worst thing that ever happened to her. I'm not a little girl. My friend, focus because your mind is trapped in the past. Please stop. Your moros nocturnos fine. What? What does that mean? Mo moros doctor. What? What did she say? The name of the nope. So my thing is, I thought they would have way more viewers because one girl was listening to it, but maybe they're about to blow it up. Ew. What? Wait, what? Not submitted. Bunch. And you're two randos that dragged me into a podcast. Rando is a slang for a person of no significance. I thank used you. context clues, but thank you. <laughs> you could still do the podcast, though. You can learn how to use Twitter. It's not that hard. Don't do TikTok. Mabel, it's been, uh, it's been the most alive I've felt in a decade. Me That's too. It. I like his, they're like a daughter figure, kind of for him, like where, because he, you know, his, so, um, yeah, somebody that was like, like a daughter for him. 
for six, seven years. So is your oh not is is that renovation thing real? Yeah. No. You got yelled at by a mom. I know. I'm shook. Mabel taught me that word. Mm. It already felt personal to me because of Winnie. Who's Winnie? His dog? Who? Right? Are you kidding me? My dog, Winnie, <laughs> who's recovering from being poisoned? <clears throat> the fact that you forgot about her completely is deeply concerning to me. Why? We barely know each other. Mabel was right. We're all randos. Of course we know each other. Are my parents dead or alive? Dead. Ooh. Lucky guess. Is that Mabel? No, it's Teddy, our sponsor. A lot of come facts. to me. We need to speak. A lot of traction, right? Ominous. No, that's just the way he types. But it still seems bad. I bet the website crashed. It's like, would you mind coming with me, or am I too rando? Rain. Yeah, it's not. But it's also not lame as fuck. I can dig it. Okay. Okay, Kareem's not bad either. I mean, that's kind of dope. <clears throat> wow, I think I would have remembered this. Yeah. Well, during my depressing years, my mom took she died. No. She didn't have it on. Not when she died. We robbed her ass? You don't forget the image of your girlfriend's body on the ground. But it's right here. There, it's horrible. I can't see that. It's a little weird. Because it's your friends who died. Boyfriend. Uh, I don't know. It's a little odd. Maybe. I don't know. It's weird. Do you, do you ever feel like Ten you've years. too inspirational? Cinda, you know, like everyone has a podcast now. It has gotten a little out there. Side building with a theater director and one of their granddaughters. Wow. And their prime suspect is Sting. No! Who boots? Yes. No the hate. title <laughs> of their podcast <laughs> is Demas Chicken Wraps Presents Colon Only Murders in the Building. <laughs> What's wrong with that? No, why are they laughing? <laughs> I do, I do love Ch Dima's chicken wrap. Love him. Rather than give it to me. Well, obviously he changed his mind. All right, dug the fucker up and ripped it out of his cold, dead hands. <laughs> what the fuck? Did that really help? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh. What? That's, that's so good. <laughs> That you fooled me. My Yaya uh, Evangelia taught me to make investments in the people who've been loyal to you. I don't remember how Herman's head ended, but I suspect it ended with him finally finding the girl. Why would the cops want to cover this up? I can never tell with Herman. And not needing those advisors in his head anymore. That's how I would have done it. Herman doesn't need them because he's not alone in we have to rip it up. So does that is that does that split three ways? How does now? Uh, yes, I think we have to rip it up uh, now. Wait, wait, wait! Oh, thank God! What? What's this account? It's not in Teddy's name. The password. Uh, oh. Well, we got one for you. Mm. Say hello to Angel. Teddy Demas? Wait, so you're saying... That's right. Our prime sponsor is now our prime suspect. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. That will make a great last line for an episode. <laughs> uh, this was dope. Um, all right. Well, holy shit. Somehow Tim, was, so Tim was getting jewelry from Angel. Like jewelry that's hard to find. As he was trying to take down 
some giant, like some big, dirty jewelry people. And they just happen to be the sponsors. If you're listening to this on a podcast, you got to be like, holy shit, what an ending. Their own sponsor. What? Would never have imagined that. Um, I love the conversation between uh, Mabel and her mother. I think it was like realistic. It's she sent her to this thing to be with her aunt for a while. I mean, there are no summers or whatever. And she, Mabel loved it there so much that she would go back. And then years later, she ended up witnessing like or was after the murder of her friend. And then she kind of became obsessed for like an obsessed, but like kind of became a different person for 10 years. So the mom feels responsible for that. Like she feels like, damn, if I would have never have done that, then my daughter would have never have been friends with these kids and gone down this path of um, being obsessed or not obsessed, but just life altering stuff, whatever. I like that the show's blowing up because of Jimmy Fallon and those two dudes from um, the, uh, what are they call the, uh, the plant guys. We also, I thought it was actually kind of interesting also that we got the perspective of perspective from the woman who perspective from the woman who is the cop that's fascinating I, w- I just wasn't expecting that to be the route we went right with the uh the cop but pretty dope pretty interesting stuff um mabel's back we got this giant sponsor of money Oscar and Mabel kissed, which I thought was a little weird because, like I said, I don't know where if it's a weird line to be on with her kissing her former friend's boyfriend who was also accused of murder. It's a weird, weird line. Um, but overall, I thought the episode was actually pretty, pretty rock solid there when it comes to that. Uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, Tina Fey and the stuff. The stuff with the twins was weird. Beginning. What was the stuff with the twins? Voices in the head and... I don't know. I'm very curious about that. But yeah, overall, good episode. I don't really have much to say. I thought the acting was good. I thought the conversation, the character development. I, said, I feel like he connects to Mabel because he had his, like, stepdaughter, I guess you want to say, whatever she was to him. For like six, seven years, and now he, she, he has Mabel, and it's like a connection. And Mabel, this is the most I felt alive in a long time. And then, of course, the twist with um, or the stuff from her, Mabel's actually connected with them. These are like her first true friends in like 10 years. A lot of really cool, sentimental, emotional stuff that I like. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Gonna get out of here. I'll talk to you guys later.